I still do not know what the smoke rings were in the sky, but we shall proceed with the countdown. Are you prepared? Yes. Okay. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Fire! It appears that the Apatigan has backfired. Now the whole planet will be not caring about anything. I don't care. Oh no, it has affected you too, but oh, I don't care either. <laughs> oh, who cares about any of this stuff? I agree. Oh, let's just uh, relax. I, you know, we had a job to do, but... I'm going to take a nap. No more. Okay. Oh, I don't care. Sonny, that was brilliant! Having the apathy gun fire back on them and giving them a dose of their own medicine. Good job. Good hey, job. Thanks, Loss. What's wrong? Where, where's Norman? Norman didn't make it, Loss. He's back at the gun still. Troy, is that you? Yes, Captain. Two to beam up. This mission is accomplished, sir. Oh, wonderful, Troy. Wonderful. Troy, Scotty, congratulations on your mission. Glad you're with us. We sure could use your help. I'm not as blind as a bat. What have you done to the ship? Looks like I need to be getting back on station. Looks like you're going to be in a world of hurt if I don't get some power up here soon. Thanks, Mr. Scott. We need as much power as we can get. Since our revenues were not sufficient to neutralize the growing expenses, it is logical that we have only one remaining course of action which may prove efficient. Yes, and that is? Obviously, to reduce the expenses. See where you're going with this, Bob. Scotty, have you finished installing the board's reducing beam in our armamentarium yet? I got it, but I've not tested it yet. No time, Scotty. Shadow all staff power and trusty energy into the reducing ray. We need it now. But, Captain, the diagnostics, I need more time, sir. You've got to give me more time. No time for test and analysis, Scotty. We need to rely on our experience, our heads, and our hearts. Scotty, we need it now. Hi, Captain. The reducer generator beam. It's powered up to full capacity. We need to get close to the expense ship, though, sir. That's the only way this thing's gonna work. Right, Scott. I'll play it with Ohura and Troy. Ohura, Troy. I'd like you to work together in input coordinates that will enable us to quickly work close enough to the expense starship for the reduction beam to be effective. I realize this will be tricky and we'll only have one shot at it, but the choice is clear. Okay, okay, right, we've got it. Number one, can you project based on who are in Troy's developed coordinates our most advantageous approach to the expenses? Lock in our course, be prepared to take us there at warp factor 20 on my mark. Already I'm anticipated your maneuvering and have the trajectory course and warp factor laid in. I've also input the inf information into the computer and we're ready to execute on your word. Troy and Uhura have downloaded the, the need, needed coordinates and these have also been integrated into the maneuver execution. Captain, may I remind you that in between CIC and the expenses ship is an R-class asteroid belt. We can, however, effectively use our tracker beam to squeeze the meteors together creating a channel through which the CIC Enterprise may travel unscathed and covering the meteors with a protective force field in the process. You mean? Yes, to reduce expenses, we must tighten our belt first. I'm glad I didn't say that. Actually, sir, you did. It's right here in the script you wrote on page five. All right, Mr. Spock, tighten our belt.
Done. We have tightened our belt and concomitantly covered our asteroids. Uhura, initiate flight and targeting sequence, and let's get them. Make it so. Warp Factor 20. Everyone brace yourself. The expenses continue to aggressively come at us at Warp Factor 10. Prepare for impact. Head-on collision is imminent. If the reduction beam doesn't work, time will all be annihilated. Close enough to target for use of the reducing beam now, sir. Firing. Head on impact between the Enterprise and the expenses ship in three seconds. Two, one. Expenses have been reduced to a manageable level. Cancel the red alert. Thank you all. A magnificent plan and implementation. Uhura, please send a transmission to our crew, trustees and board, appraising them of our success and thanking them for all making it possible. Done. I sense a new disturbance awaits us somewhere. Ship, sir. Sensors indicate it has moved from a stationary to an attack position and is powering towards us at a tremendous speed. Warp factor 90. It is at this point in time, at that speed, an absolutely irresistible force. All fine torpedoes ready to fire. Shields are holding at 98%, but would never withstand an impact of this magnitude. Morale and resources are stable. We are as prepared for battle as possible, sir. Wait. Computer has just revealed some shocking and puzzling information, Captain. What is it, Spock? As the demands have approached, the CIC Enterprise has actually increased its size. Our power and resources are also steadily building and growing, as is our general capacity. Of course. Now I understand. Crew, I would like to propose a new way to deal with the demands. As Mr. James Brown, the great 20th century philosopher, the godfather of soul, once said, Ow! I can't stand myself. Ain't it funky? I'm super bad. Sir, I fail to see how your personal self-reference, a primitive expression of a variety of the 1970s music labeled funk, and the superlative of horrible have any relevance to this situation. I must confess, given the current threat, I am entirely, unequivocally, and frightfully perplexed. What you have said is not logical. Not logical, Spock, but it is an expression of an epiphany serving as a basis for the strategy I'm about to propose for dealing with the demands. We haven't much time. The strategy that I am proposing is that we accept, manage, and become entirely one with the demands. Since they have made themselves known to us, and as they approach us, we are in fact growing in new ways. The demands are forcing us to grow in adaptive and effective ways. I propose we accept the demands upon us and continue to grow from them. The alternative is obviously self-destruction. Ready are the Dow and Zen torpedoes. Power them with the staff and trusty power pods, Mr. Scott. Prepare to meet the demands in our own way. Accept them and grow from their presence. Are you all with me? Yeah. Yes, let's yes, do yes. Okay, okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. For CIC and those we serve. For CIC, For CIC and, and those, those we serve. serve. Fire, Uhura. <laughs> have become one with us and we one with them. Computer, stay to support. You know you make me wanna come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. It worked. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, good. good. All right then, Aurora. <clears throat> Place and lay in a course for 13th Street. Our work here is 
It's done, crew. Let's right. go home. Yeah. Already there, sir. Let's do it. All right. Woo! All right. Sir, sensors indicate that something is transporting on the CIC right here on the bridge. Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the water. Us resource vampires are not so easily defeated. One blast from my apathy ray, and you will be utterly defeated. Let me see you beat demands upon you then. <laughs> Troy, use your telekinetic powers to transmit views of our fantastic crew into the vampire's mind. If I'm not mistaken, the psychic vampires cannot exist in an atmosphere of committed, helpful, loyal, intelligent, compassionate people. I'm sorry, Captain. I, I seem to be right now under the influence of those vampires already. I don't think I have the psychic capacity. I need another boost. Dr. McCoy, it appears you've arrived, just as, as they say, just in the nick of time. You green-blooded Vulcan. I'm a doctor, damn it, not the cavalry. Oh, it's great to see you. Can you help us? Yes. Troy, this anti-apathy serum will give you just the boost you need if I could just get a verbal okay. Okay. Now I've got to get back to sick bay. Thanks, Bones. You're welcome. Yes. My positive aura is back. Now, to project those awesome staff images into those vampires' mind. of the great 20th century African-American philosopher James Brown, I have got to say, OW! I feel good! Hey! I feel good! I knew that I would I feel good Said I knew that I would now So good! So good! Got 
Please. 